Do you hear that? That's the sound of the train. That's the train you're on. The train going straight to Matthew Rayfield World. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to first say thank you. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. We've, since the last video, reached over a thousand subscribers. And, and to celebrate this momentous, momentous, monumental <laughs> occasion, I've created a phone number that you can call right here. 1-813-531-7445. You call it up, it's got a phone menu, you know, press one for this, press two for that. I've always wanted a phone number like that. You call it up, you can leave a voicemail. Voicemail is like a comment, but it's it's better. And so then I'm gonna take the voicemails and I'm gonna uh, do something with them, like put them in videos. I don't know, I don't know what the messages are gonna be. It depends on what they are. But, but it's just another level of interaction here on, on Matthew Rayfield World. Um, and also, you can you can call the number, and there's like a there's a special feature on the on the phone number that you've never seen before. It's pretty amazing, I think. Okay, thanks again. On with the show. Now watch me move these windows away. Bye bye. Yeah. All right. So this is webcam doodler this is what I want to show you and all right here's the idea okay you take something like this that's a nice different color diff different than the environment around you all right and then you hold down target color and you put it put it right there you see how that button see how that button changes colors when that comes in there it's whatever whatever color you got there so you know uh, all right but we're gonna do this so boop, and now look check that out Check that out, I'm drawing. I'm doodling, I'm webcam doodling right now. Here I go, what is it? It's nothing, it's squiggles. But it's got, all right, so it's got the normal paint mode. It's got a race mode. It's like a window wiper when I do that. Like, you lay down a big fat. It helps, it makes it run faster with the sound effects. Um, and then I go. Or it's like you shave it or something. I like window wiping better. That's fun. All right. So that's uh, that's that's the core. That's the core functionality of webcam doodler. Now, uh, as usual, I, I, you know, I'm thinking, what else? What else can I do? What else can I do with this um, thing that I've made? So I, I thought, all right. Um, what what about stencils? Right. I mean, it just picks up the color of whatever. So what if I what if I do a little drawing and then I go boop? Oh wait, ah, I'm in a race mode. Okay, wait. Okay, paint mode. All right, here goes. I killed my killed my uh, suspense there. <laughs> All right, boop. Oh man, that wasn't good. Boop. Boop. Man, I'm not doing a good job here. Boop. Oh, that was a good one. Boop. Again, it works better with the sound effects. Boop. Uh huh. Boop. Wow, check that out. Cats from a post-it note. That's cool. So then, so then once I had that idea, then it's like, all right, what's what's the next level? We did we did stencils on a post-it note, but what if what if I made a, an app, a complementary app that could be used to like you know draw? So so that's what I did, and I've got it here, and. I'm not prepared. Um, so it just it, when you when you touch the screen, like that's one brush. That's just a dot. I'll clear this off. So we got to change it. We got to set it. We turn the sensitivity way down. That just adjusts like how you know how much color it picks up on the sensitivity. Um, so all right. So we take that. We put that there. White. Doop, and then look at that. Yeah, and it's gonna pick up some reflections. It, it's not. 
it's not perfect, yo. It's not a, it's not a perfect system here. Uh, I, I'm not. I don't really have any drawings planned. All right, so that's just a circle brush. So then we got try to do like a spray brush. Check that out. That's like uh, I was trying to do like in uh, in Microsoft Paint. You know they have that uh, spray spray can thing. So I did that, um, and then I have like another a stenciling thing, but with smileys. Works better than the post-it note. That's good. Oh, and I like to, I like to do this. Ready? Cause I got one more brush. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I was trying to make a big one. All right, let's let's do one big one. Here we go. Boop. Okay, perfect. Now the last brush is like a twisty brush. Wow, give that smiley some nice hair, and then we can draw our little body. Ooh. And some hands. Ooh. Ooh. They're spooky hands, I guess. There, wow! Check out that doodle. That's a that's a legit webcam doodle on webcam doodler. And uh, that that basically concludes concludes my I'll, I'll stand over here. That concludes my demonstration of Webcam Doodler. I hope you enjoyed it. So I, th I think that there's three kind of good ideas in in the Webcam Doodler, right? Uh, because in every experiment, I feel like there's even if it's if it's on the face, just just useless. And, and Webcam Doodler is not completely useless, but there's always there's always kernels of good ideas in there, and so. So let's let's go over what I think those ideas are. Uh, number one, number one is the physical nature of the input device. You know, it's not a stylus, right? It's not a computer stylus. It's not like one of those VR wands. Like you're holding, you're holding uh, whatever it is, the piece of color, and you can manipulate it. Like you can hide parts of it. You could, you know, show expose parts of it, like I did with the stamping stencil thing. There's there's something about that physical nature of holding this kind of inert uh, control device that I find fascinating. So that's number one. Number two is the, the, the companion app, right? It's actually a web page, but the companion app. Um, you know, there's lots of remote control apps for various things, um, you know, thermostats and television devices and whatever that are apps, uh, remote controls. But, but this app, um, this app is, I don't know, again, I guess because of the physical nature of it, I mean, it's kind of weird to think about, but it's it's wireless communication. Did you think about that? It's wireless communication um, without any, you know, actual wireless communication. And I think I think that, that idea of the companion app can be more explored. The, the big screen experience and the small screen facilitator of the big screen experience. So that's number two. Okay, last one, number three. Number three is the webcam, webcam as an input device. I think this is the most important one. And I've got at least two projects in the future that I want to explore this idea with. So the webcam, we use webcams, but we just use them as like, you know, video, video, video conference, video, whatever. But, um, they, you know, there's a uh, however much resolution of, of input into your computer and we, I always feel like the computer is kind of is kind of a pigeonholed experience whereas like if you have a desk spread out all your papers you've got a huge swath that's probably not the right word you've got a huge uh, range of display and input out input and output but with the computer you've got however much output right and you could say you know audio video whatever you've got a lot of output but then your input is like almost nothing in a way, you know, it's not the same resolution, um, and you got touch screens and whatever. But I feel like it's not with with the physical working in the physical world. You kind of have that that like one to one input output, whereas with the computer, you're just not there. You got the keyboard and mouse typically. Um, so so the webcam though can be used for all kinds of for other inputs, I think. And some things have played around with it, games and stuff. I remember that what was that PS2 like game thing? It kind of sucked. But, but I think there's something to be explored there. So that's, 
that's my three reasons why. Well, you should you should take another take another think about a uh, good old webcam doodler there, and and that's it.